So you're thinking about moving to Bellingham, Washington. Well, this video is gonna be the third in a four part series where I show you Bellingham's top Southern neighborhoods. This episode, the South Bellingham neighborhood. I'm gonna show you three different price points, the entry level, median, as well as high end. So you can see how much home you can get for your money. I'm also gonna fly around on my drone and show you what makes the South Bellingham neighborhood such an awesome place to live. Be sure to subscribe below and tap the bell icon for notifications so you can be notified when the next neighborhood video comes out. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, playing, working, as well as the good and bad about living in Bellingham, Washington, then subscribe below and tap the bell icon for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Bellingham, Washington. My name is Dale Servicek and I'm with the Living in Bellingham, Washington team. And every day we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you. And we love it. So whether you're thinking of moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Info's in the description below. I'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to the Bellingham, Washington area. The South neighborhood is bordered to the north by Old Fairhaven Parkway, to the east by Interstate 5, to the south by the Chuckanut Mountains just south of Arroyo Park, and to the west by Chuckanut Drive as well as Mud Bay and Chuckanut Bay. Home to 1,600 plus residents, the South neighborhood is the furthest South Core Bellingham neighborhood. South neighborhood is also one of the least populated Bellingham neighborhoods because of the large amounts of public land that can never be developed. Fairhaven Park, Interurban Trail Greenway, Hogue's Pond, Arroyo Park, Chuckanut Bay Open Space, Woodstock Farm, and the Chuckanut Mountains County and State Lands, the South neighborhood is easily 50% designated public land that will never be developed. This low density of residential housing gives the South neighborhood its unique character for those looking to live in a quiet wooded oasis surrounded by pristine natural resources. Seven miles of the interurban trail system connect Old Fairhaven Parkway in the north to the 67-acre Arroyo Park and the 2,740-acre Larrabee State Park in the south. Although just south of the south neighborhood boundary, Larrabee State Park is Washington State's first state park and offers 8,100 feet of saltwater shoreline along Samish Bay. Along the interurban trail are Hogue's Pond, a marsh area along the Greenway Space, and Chuckanut Creek flowing through the steep ravines of Arroyo Park. Arroyo Park and the North Chuckanut Mountain Trailhead are both entrances to the vast network of foot, bike, and horse trails in the Chuckanut Mountain Park. Chuckanut Mountain Park is 4,000 acres of public land that offers trail access to lakes, waterfalls, old growth forests, creeks, as well as elevated views of the Olympic Peninsula, San Juan Islands, Bellingham Bay, and Mount Baker. South neighborhood is also home to the 1,036 acre Fairhaven Park, where residents enjoy trails, playgrounds, spray park, tennis courts, pickleball courts, basketball, and picnic shelters. Chuckanut Village is a small 400 plus home residential area on the east shore of Mud Bay and Chuckanut Bay. It is the southernmost residential area in Bellingham, Washington, and Woodstock Farm, built in 1905 and purchased by the city of Bellingham in 2004, offers public access to Chuckanut Bay in its park-like setting and is a great location to enjoy summer afternoon and learn about the early settlers of Chuckanut Bay and the Bellingham area. Children living in the South neighborhood attend Happy Valley Elementary, Fairhaven Middle School, and Seahome High School. We are in the beginning of Hill Country in the southern part of Bellingham. Beautiful neighborhood, a lot of trees, but it's a really nice area if you're looking for bigger lots. The first property we're gonna look at is an entry point in the South Bellingham neighborhood. This house is a two bedroom, two bath, just over 1,100 square feet, and it sold recently for $452,000. It was built in 1927. It's got a big shop on an extra large lot, which you get for an entry point here in the South Bellingham. Great little neighborhood. We're going to take you around, show you the median sale price as well as some of the high end sale prices in the South Bellingham neighborhood. As we continue on in the South Bellingham neighborhood, you can see the house right behind me it is in the median sale price. This one recently sold for $640,000. It is a four bedroom, three bath, approximately 2,000 square feet and built in 2014. Pretty close to I-5, right behind me, you might see the I-5 traffic there. You can see it sticks with the general theme of a lot of nice trees, big extra large lots, 
And that is gonna be a pretty nice house here in the South Bellingham neighborhood. Here we are in a nice little cul-de-sac in the South Bellingham neighborhood to show you the high-end price points. This particular property was built in 1999. It's a four bedroom, three bath, 2,600 square feet and sold for $980,000. It's right here behind me. It's gonna have an extra large lot, of course, backs up to a green space. You can see a nice little quiet cul-de-sac here. And you can see what you can get for the high-end price point. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this South neighborhood video. If you are interested in taking a closer look at it, I'd love to show you around town. Be sure to subscribe below, tap the bell icon for notifications so you can be the first to know about the next neighborhood video that comes out. And if you're thinking of moving to the Bellingham, Washington area, be sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to the Bellingham, Washington area. Till next time, hope to see you around town.